reverse over the Panther line. White to the net. Shoot! Here's Kachuk. Right in. Scores! Balls is a handoff to Balls. Here's going to the net. He scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I am your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for live general days of the games, and of course, breaking news. As well, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store and use your promo code Sense Talk to save twenty dollars off your first purchase. Now, tonight's game between the Ottawa Senators and the Detroit Red Wings. Both teams gunning for last in the National Hockey League for the first overall pick, or the highest odds for the first overall pick in the twenty twenty National Hockey League Draft Lottery. Now, going to this game, the Senators are trying to salvage. Uh, not going back-to-back in losses, trying to get a win after a loss. Meanwhile, the Detroit Red Wings, they're doing what they're doing. They're trying to be Loris in the National Hockey League. And they do so here with Jonathan Bernier in net for, your, uh, for the Detroit Red Wings. And for your Ottawa Sanders is Anders Nilsson, the new starting goalie for the Sanders. But before we get into the actual game recap, let's talk about the lineup. So firstly, Max Verano makes his season debut after scoring three goals in 14 games down in Belleville. Cody Gullibuff draws in as well because Brian is out with an illness and Eric Branstrom is out with a thumb injury. Who sh- They both should be back uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday, against the Montreal Canadiens. Now, let's get into the starting goaltenders. Like I just said, Nilsson for your Sens and Bernier for the Red Wings. And like I said, both teams are trying to get first overall, and Bernier is the right choice for the Red Wings to get first overall. So the first period we go three minutes in, Thomas Shabbat, a beautiful pass, springs Anthony Duclair on the breakaway, and you don't want to do that because there's no catching the Duke. He is on fire tonight, backhand foreign, undresses Jonathan Bernier, one Nothing, Senators, Duclair's eighth of the season from Thomas Hotsabacho Shabbat. Ottawa, one, Detroit, nothing. Moments later, Logan Brown looks to have his first career National League goal, but it's waved off thanks to Tyler Ennis goaltender interference. And moments later, Logan Brown technically gets his first as a shot from Robbie Fabry is just stopped by Anders Nilsson, it bounces off of Logan Brown into the net as he swats the puck away. It's already in the net. And the Detroit Red Wings tie it at one apiece. Fabry fourth from Philip Hill and Horonic. I love that last name. The Red Wings tied at one apiece as this was an own goal from Logan Brown. So technically he scored tonight, but not for the right team. Uh, let's move forward now. The refs did not call many against in favor of the Sanders and... This was a missed call here, and Phil Pula roofs it, glove side, past Nilsson on a bad, broken play. Brown was the only one back on this shorthanded goal. Darren Helm got the only assist. This was just a terrible period by Ottawa after a great start. But in the second period, they come out flying Logan Brown to Duclair, who fakes the shot and then shoots it 5-hole, 2-2. Duclair second of the night, ninth of the season. Ottawa has some life. It's 2-2. 57 seconds later, John Gabriel Pajot, nine goals in nine games. That's his 12th of the year on the breakaway. He puts it five-hole pass. Jonathan Bernier. And when Pajot goes on the breakaway, it's an automatic goal always. Always, always, always. Usually he puts a bar in. This time, five-hole. Beautiful goal. Pajot, nine goals in his last nine games. And then five minutes later, Brady Kachuk, as Anthony Duclair drives to the net. He, at the last second, instead of going for the wraparound, trying to get the Hattie, he gives a pass to Brady Kachuk. Slams it home. A home run. Ottawa takes their first lead of the game after their first goal. To make it a 3-2 game now. Brady Kachuk takes the lead for the Sanders right back. It's 7th of the year for him. Anthony Duclair, 3-point night for him. That's his 7th career National Hockey League. 3-point night. So congratulations to Anthony Duclair. We go to the third period now where the Detroit Red Wings absolutely dominated. 4-2 the Sanders lead. And they are just standing back praying to God they can get this win. Uh, in that third period, Ottawa was outshot 15-4, to and that was out without any power plays in the period. Ottawa just simply got outmanned, outplayed, outclassed in that third period. Detroit wanted it more, but unfortunately for them, could not get it as Nilsson stood tall, making 14 and 15 saves in that third period. 37 shots on goal he faced tonight. And let me tell you, with a 921 save percentage, stopping 35 out of 37, he had a fant- uh, 30, uh, 35 out of 37, at uh, 38, pardon me, um, stats there messed up. 38 shots he faced, 35 he stopped, three goals against. Ottawa wins this one, 4-3. to three. Uh, They surrender a goal in the last couple minutes. Anthony Mantha rips it bar in from Hronik 
and Andreas and Tennessee. I love these names from Detroit. Uh, but the Senators win 4-3 to in regulation. They snap a losing streak and now are have won the last five out of the last seven games. So congratulations to your Ottawa Sanders. They're on a little bit of a roll. Uh, they're now three points back of the Toronto Maple Leafs with a game in hand. Yes, the Maple Leafs are very much struggling, and I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying every single second of it. Um, so besides that, let's get, like, like I was saying, in that third period, Ottawa just got outmanned, outclassed, outplayed. 15-4 shots in that third period. They were all over the ice. Ottawa did not have a shot until, like, I think the last five, seven minutes. So really... Got outplayed there. But Ottawa hung on. Got the win. They're 9-11-1 on the year so far. Faceoffs Ottawa and Detroit deadlocked at 50% each with 31 faceoff wins. Power plays. Ottawa's power play went 0-3 with a shorthanded goal against. And Detroit 0-3 with a shorthanded goal for. Hits for 23-23 in favor of the Red Wings. Third star of the game. Jean-Gabriel Pajot, the chicken par man with a goal tonight. The second star, uh, 921 save percentage, 6 4 1 on the year now. 38 shots he faced, and 35 of them he took away from the Detroit Red Wings. Anders Nilsson, second star. The first star, the Duke. The title of this video, Anthony Declare, two goals, one assist tonight on 18, oh, just under 18 minutes of ice time, plus two rating. Good game by Anthony Declare. Now let's get to the Sense Talk star of the night, voted by you, the fans. So the Sensstalk Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans, brought to you by SeatGeek.com. Download that app store or use the promo code Sensstalk, and you will save $20 off your first purchase. It is as follows with 0% of the vote. Lots of votes in, so shocking, 0% of the vote. Jean-Gabriel Pajot gets 0% of the vote for fourth of the Sensstalk Star of the Night poll. He had a goal tonight, had some good speed. That's nine goals in his last nine games. There's no way in hell I wasn't including him in this poll. He's been absolutely on fire, leading the league in goals in November. He has 17 points on the year, leading the Sens in that category as well. He's on pace for 47 goals this year. Unreal. People are talking about trading him. People are talking about keeping him. I don't know what I want to do, but I love Pajot. I love, honestly, we could get a first rounder and a top prospect for him. But I love Pajot so much, I can't say that I want him to be traded. I love Pajot very, very much. He's one of he's one of the last Senators that fans have grown attached to, and I really, I don't, I just, I don't want to think of him in another jersey. Um, the third star of the game, two percent of the vote, Brady Kachuk. Not only did he score a goal tonight, he also got into the faces of many Detroit Red Wing players, which is always a joy to see him being pesky and getting into their faces and annoying them. Uh, he's a bit of a jerk, and I love that of him. Third star of the game, 2% of the vote. Great game by him, as usual. 10% of the vote for second star. Anders Nilsson, 35 stops tonight, 921 save percentage. Made some big stops, including a couple big stops in that third period on a 2-1, on one, where he robbed the Detroit Red Wings of the tying goal. Uh, of the 4-3 the goal, pardon me. Anders Nilsson has a fantastic game, like usual. He's clearly the starting goaltender for your Ottawa Sanders, and another solid game for Anders Nilsson. Anderson will likely start tomorrow as the game is at 7.30 in Montreal. First star, the Duke. 88% of the vote. Overwhelming majority. Anthony Duclair, three-point night. Two goals, one assist. Driving the offense on his back tonight. Anthony Duclair, a fantastic game for him. He's shown that he can be a solid top six player in the National Hockey League. I'm saying, I'm not saying give him a seven, eight-year deal. What I would do, I would give him a three-year deal, above a bridge deal, give him a bit of a gap, and in a year or two, if you see a lot of improvement, sign him to a long-term extension uh, so you don't have to risk having to pay a lot more than you could right now. Uh, besides that, the Sens win 4-3, to three, and I'll see you tomorrow night when the Sens take on Le Habitat, the Montreal Canadiens, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll see you tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensstock underscore for the activities of the games and of course breaking news. Please like us on Facebook Sensstock. Add us to circles on Google Plus Sensstock. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video of sure cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website sensstockcenter.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor SeatGeek.com or download that for the App Store and use the promo code Sensstock. You will save twenty dollars off your first purchase. Thank you all for watching. Ottawa four, Detroit three. I'll see you tomorrow night when the Sens take on the Habs in a nice little rivalry. I'll see you then. Go Sens go.